uh, 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 u
with it in here and re solidify. So, re solidifying a bond where maybe there was something that was not able to be stable in the past, but because you've surrendered your fucks, your cares, your worries, your burdens to focusing on whatever this is, whether it's finances, whether it's legalities, or uh, whether it's um, a business endeavor, uh, whether it's a relationship or situation shift that didn't get off the ground, I do see this flourishing, okay? You guys actually having abundance around the situation. Some of you guys could be starting over, could be actually moving. Uh, I'm speaking, I'm, the Spirit is telling me to give uh, give this message to someone who is sleeping. I'm hearing pillar to post. I also heard jumping couch to couch, okay? And I also heard Libra. So some of y'all could have Libra in your chart who is experiencing this. Um, some of you all may be like literally may be pushed off the cliff. Some of you all are receiving signs and synchronicities to move or go to a certain a particular place. Either you're going to receive an opportunity that's going to align you with that travel, okay, or an opportunity is uh, something's going to come about here that is divinely orchestrated that kind of pushes your back up against the wall to make push any damn thing against the wall in the corner. What it's going to do, Aries, will come out fighting on your ass, okay, especially around. But there is a sense of not fighting. From a space of resentment or victimization, but a space of optimism, a space of accepting the fact that y'all we didn't been through the hell, the mud, the flood. What else the fuck can what else the fuck can bite our heads off? You have shown you have literally showed yourself all aspects of yourself from the darkness through the darkness to the light. Which is why you're able to surfer and cipher and, 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 and really move you move through a room full of vultures and really kind of see through the bullshit, see through the smoke. We can detect that quicker than you can blink your eye. So what are you afraid of? There's a need for you to trust yourself, trust your future self, trust that your higher self would not guide you to a space where there was that where there was that was, that was all surrounded by defeat. But with everything that you have overcome and everything that you had to um get past and hurdle over there was always some aspect of the unknown so during this time Aries we're going to be facing the monsters in our closet for some of you all those are childhood traumas for some of you all it's it's noticing a particular pattern around the things that you, the way that you handle relationships the way that um, the people who you attract and tying them to understanding releasing the blame around situations that didn't work out towards other people but actually acknowledging why did we attract the people in the first fucking place you know what i'm saying it's, it's an aspect of realization acceptance acknowledgement and aries taking leadership in a role to either release a situation or to revisit revisit a situation to re-solidify. Re and some of you all, there's this aspect of writing your face. But like some of you guys are manifesting something that is already writing your face. There's a need for you all to live in this space of the now. Allow your inner child to come out and play. You know what I'm saying? And in doing so, you're going to continuously, you're going to open up a realm of receiving nothing but signs and synchronicities. And really on a cool, a sense of direction on how to go forward with your path and for some of you all there is a mutual a mutual um a mutual receiving of signs and synchronizations with you and another person that you have a past life connection with that it is meant in this life uh for you guys to flourish and have uh, some type of stable connection going forward in the future so some of you guys will begin we will begin to see that come into birth or be birthed now, this could have to do with a new person uh, who you have a past life connection with. This could also have to do, I'm hearing renewals of families, okay? So some of y'all, some of papa want to come home. Mama want to come home. The crystal angel oracle message for you guys this month is turquoise. Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious or spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choice that is best for your soul. 
and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's deeply a personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs, so keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're not identical, can lead to deep friendships and help you navigate your own spiritual path. This card can also be about a relationship that is experiencing conflicts because partners have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people, and it needs to be handled with prayer and often with counseling, okay? All right, so again, that crystal is turquoise, okay? Some of you all are receiving messages in your subconscious space while you're sleeping. Some of you all could have experienced some type of mass crown chakra activation at the beginning of July, so some of you all are opening up. There's a need for you all to open up and be more receptive to the messages that you are receiving. Some of you guys, there's a need for you all to also create a dream journal for the things that you can remember, the, uh, even if it's like broken Write down certain aspects, the people's spaces who are familiar to you. Spirit is trying to reveal things to you in the truth or clarity that you're needing from a situation. For some of you all, it's accepting the fact that you're not going to get that from another person. Okay? Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's just internally fucked up, even if it's family members. It, there's, a, there's a level of someone not wanting to take accountability, so Aries has to take the leadership and kind of move in this space of rehabbing themselves, but rehabbing themselves through releasing it and getting the answers. As soon as you let it go, yourself is going to reveal to yourself what the fuck is really going on. Some of you guys are being led or connecting with your ancestors, okay? There is a strong father figure here, okay? Others of you, you rainbow seeds, okay? So it has to do with your path. Some of you guys are, you want to go into Reiki healing. Some of you guys may also be spiritual teachers, counselors, gurus, okay? Some of you all are being called to ministry. Trust your inner voice, your inner self, okay? And for some of you all, it, there's a time, this is a time for you to really res, uh, respect and protect your energy. If you feel the need to go into this space of solitude, don't go into this space of solitude as a, def as, like a, as a defense mechanism to pull away or build this wall between you and other people. Make sure that you're question make sure that you're setting healthy intentions as far and boundaries with other people when it comes to you being in this sacred space of self. So that it's not coming off as you being a bitch or, you know, you being and, and really on the clue, you ain't supposed to give a fuck about how other people feel about it anyway. But when it comes to your immediate family areas, you def I, I definitely see that you guys are really needing to find a healthy way to communicate those boundaries. Even if they don't understand, you got it off your chest. Because for some of you all, this has to do, some of y'all are literally watching shit just turn up right around you. And it's not your job to save every fucking body because you have your own path to focus on. I definitely feel like some of you guys are going to be watching situations, circumstances around you semi-crumble as you move into this space of peace. You move into this space of being open and receptive uh, within the heart chakra. For some of you all, there is a focus on the heart chakra, matters of the heart, okay? And a healing around that, all right? So let's get into it. It is! What is going on with the Maya Rams? <laughs> all right. Let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Arians? My fellow Rams, man. What you got for us, Spirit? And uh, Aries, Summer Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Or, Aries 4, from now until the end of July. Aries, and uh, now until the end of July. Okay, yes, yeah, some of you guys are, uh, some of you guys are starting something new, okay? Some of you guys, some of you guys, there's a need for you, there's a desire for you to actually have a stable relationship with someone, okay? And some of you guys, you have a fire sign, everything else has a tear. This person wants to come and start something new with you, but some of you guys are either you or this other person is trying to keep your options open, okay? Someone wants something solid, all right? And someone, there's, there's a sense of a new beginning, but someone is still needing to close out um, karmic doors to their uh, from their past, okay? Some of you guys could also be 
Some of you guys could also be starting something new. And some of y'all, this, this, this something new is actually the life of singlehood. Like you're releasing people from your past who you see coming back and they're still, they're, they still have toxic attachments or for that matter, they still have a toxic way of thinking, okay? Some of you guys could also uh, be dealing with the sign of Capricorn and you just want to keep your damn options open. You just really don't. Some of y'all, I'm feeling a sense of being bored, okay? Some of you all, <laughs> some of you guys are in your head possibly, um, regarding accepting an offer from somebody. Some of y'all have an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This person wants to come back and start something new, but this person a hoe, or they got hoeish attachments. Um, and this could even be someone who you already are familiar with. I definitely feel like this person wants to come back and work something out with you, Aries. Some of y'all are going to get an offer uh, to, to return to a, a job that you once deemed as toxic. Uh, but some of you all are in the space where you are needing that financial assistance. So you're feeling as if your, your back is up against the wall. Spirit is saying, don't make a decision based on fear and doubt. If you feel anything about, if you feel as if you should be returning back to a space, Trust what you feel, okay? Because with you, this, this is testing your self worth, everything that you've been through, your ability to let things go, to learn from them, okay? Some of you guys have a Gemini um, as well. Hmm. Somebody have a Gemini. This could also be another Aries, okay, or a Scorpio. This person wants to come in and they want to transform a relationship with you, Aries. You could have had a toxic attachment to this person. Some of y'all need to choose between possibly a Capricorn and a Scorpio. A Capricorn and a Gemini, but for some of y'all, somebody somebody who left you out in the cold, somebody who left you on your face, you could have been experiencing some 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 type of financial struggles, okay? And or some of y'all, you feel as if some of y'all this okay, pause. Some of you all have a fire sign, a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Scorpio, or an Aries who left you on your face. While you were in the midst of financial struggle, this person wants to come back and they want to start something new with you, Aries, but you don't trust it. You feel as if this person is trying to finesse you, okay? I'm from the South. So that finesse me, I feel like when I say finesse me, I mean that someone's trying to be slick. They're trying to be manipulative, okay? Others of you have somebody from the from the past, especially if you were tied to a high priest or a high priestess in the past, someone who with psychic abilities or someone who actually have like white witch background. Some of y'all have someone that's coming back. This person is really in their shadow energy. They're kind of going through a dark night of the soul transition area. This person could have recently been uh, could have recently left a marriage, okay? Some of you guys have an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo. This person wants to come and um they want to start over with you, Aries. I feel like in the past, the attachment could have been toxic or you deemed it as toxic, okay? But I feel like this person could have uh, this person could have been dealing with a very manipulative energy. That they could have left you out in the damn cold for thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. This person has a fear of being by themselves as well as a fear of lack, okay? For others of you... There is going to be some type of rectification in a situation that involves children when it comes to your finances. So if someone could have abandoned you or left you by yourself to raise your child, and this person is wanting to come back and rectify a cycle with you. This person could be a Pisces. They could be a Libra. Um, and for some of you all, this has to do with good karma. Some of you guys, someone is wanting to come back and transform a relationship with you. They want to fix it, Aries, but you've already moved on to that new new. And you just kind of like, well, you know, as much as I love you, I've worked on myself. And with the work that I've done on myself, I'm not going to go backwards and go back into this space where I feel anxiety. I feel, you know, uh, paranoid about making decisions. I feel paranoid if I can trust you or not. You always want to have your damn options open, okay? Someone, yeah, someone could have been cut off or could have. Someone, some of y'all could be cutting off the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who you have children with, okay? Or there could be some type of, mm. Aries, someone could be manipulating you uh, using magic to try to come back to a relationship that's dead because they don't, they're not energetically attached to you anymore. And this person feels the disconnect, so they're trying to manipulate their way back in. This person genuinely loves you, but they know how to love from a space of control. Someone is needing to fully undergo their transformation, not half ass it. Because y'all dealing with somebody who that had a transformation in the way that they communicate. This motherfucker that read a few books and they want to come back and try and make it seem as if and, and make it seem as if they're on your level, Aries, but energetically trust what you feel. Because this person is still coming through as a fucking page, okay? Others of you, some of y'all, some of y'all could also be cutting off. 
Aries, someone could have also tried to go back to the mother and father of their children in the past. You could have separated with this person. This person could be a Taurus. Virgo Capricorn. I feel like this person, this person had to go back to a situation that they didn't fully shit cut off, okay? Or they may be communicating that with you during this time, okay? Some of you all, um, some of y'all could also be walking away from a Scorpio. Some of you all are also going through an awakening during this time. Hmm. And I feel like for some of you all, someone is really in their head feeling guilty. I'm here. I heard guilt, okay? Some of you all may also be in your head overthinking. If you thinking that if you think that someone keeps disappearing because they married Aries, you're gonna find out that you're on the money with that shit, okay? Especially if this person is a Gemini or this person is a Taurus, Libra, Pisces. Um someone could have put you off to go back to their child's mother or child's father, and to be very honest with you. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. This person reminded them of why they left in the first fucking place. And I feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you. Some of y'all could also be having issues sleeping. Some of you guys could be dreaming or having rep repetitious dreams about possibly um, a Scorpio coming back who, you, who, who, who could have possibly made you feel rejected, okay? This person is kind of beating themselves up because they did that area. This person ultimately wants something new with you, but they have this fear of opening up because they've been hurt a lot in the past. They keep letting people in without allowing themselves to truly heal with themselves, which is preventing the relationship from moving forward, okay? Some of y'all got a Capricorn. This person wants to come in and offer their cup of love, but I feel as if Aries, this person is a blockage to you actually getting to what spirit has for you, what you've been trying to manifest as far as fulfillment. Some of you all may also be offering a cup of love and apology or receiving apology from an Aquarius for mind games played in the past, okay? Some of you guys have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be coming in to communicate with you closer to the month of August. This person, I feel like I'm feeling the energy of my words wanting to roll off my damn lips. So some of y'all, this fire sign could be coming in. I feel like this person, and for some of y'all, your natural reaction is going to be to resist this person. Some of you guys, either you or another person is resisting reaching out to somebody because of pride and ego. Or this fear of being rejected or not getting the apology that the apology that either you or another person feels as if you um deserve. Some of you guys, this person from the past wants to offer their cup of love to you. Some of you all are dreaming about this shit simply because it's what's to come. It's the way that spirit is trying to move you and there's a battle between the head and the heart space. The head like, hell no, nah, I ain't doing that shit. Do you know, spirit, why the hell would you tell me to go back because of the understanding how much you've grown? For some of y'all, this other person has grown and know, knows how knows how to love or at least wants to be receptive to the aspect of love. And when they think of love, Aries, they think of you, okay? Some of you guys have a water sign from your past, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is trying to offer love, but this person got addiction issues. I feel like they're the, someone feels as if they're running out of time. Some of y'all also got a Leo that's coming in. This person wants to, now this person wants to fix it. Some of y'all, this person is unsure if you're single. They've been spying on your damn social media, but some of y'all social media is not very clear if you're in a relationship or not. And so this person is now having to come out of the shadows because they already been stalking, but this person is now having to come out of the, come out of a shadow, the shadows. Some of you Aries have to make a decision between two fire signs, okay? This could be a Leo and a Sagittarius. Some of you all are going to open up, or, or, or this Leo is going to open up and express their love to you. Others of you have two new beginnings. There is no wrong way to go, baby. But there is a decision that needs to be made. Some of you guys are going to make a decision to... Um, Possibly leave a job and start your own business. I feel as if you've been in your head about it, thinking about what could go wrong. But Spirit is shining some light onto the situation. Others of you have a new beginning starting with the Virgo. Some of y'all, this new beginning is starting with the Leo. Others of you, this new beginning is starting with the Taurus. Some of y'all are skeptical about starting a relationship possibly with the Taurus because you could have recently left a Taurus uh, in the past. So you kind of basing your past off. Basing your future off of what the hell your past did. This person didn't commit the crime, Aries. Don't make them do the time. Because if the shoe was on the other foot, you know you wouldn't like it, gang gang. Come on now. All right? Some of you all, some of y'all may also be starting a long distance relationship. Yeah, there is something fruitful. Some of you guys, your good karma after walking away from a situation and choosing love 
choosing something that is stable, choosing something that you can actually grow, okay? Some of y'all got some, uh, some some unexpected money coming in from the courts. I feel like for some of y'all, this is tied to an old job. Others of you, this is tied to someone who could have abandoned you uh, possibly six years ago for some of y'all, five for others, nine months ago. Some of y'all could have even had somebody leave you while you was pregnant. This person wants to come in and rectify a cycle. Okay, here's some advice. I was going to pick it up. They said leave it. Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all are walking away from a third party situation. You're choosing not to be a fucking option. If that's the life you want to live, go ahead. By all means, player, go live that life. But I mean, I got to be about that life. The fuck? All right, so spirit. What's the best outcome? What's your best advice for any reason, love? Yeah, if you're dealing with a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, you might be finding out this person got you in a third party situation, possibly with another, with a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, definitely things that were hidden is definitely going to be coming to the light, okay? Some of you guys could be keeping your moves forward. Some of y'all are traveling. You're going to travel unexpectedly. And you're not going to communicate till you get to where the hell you're going in order to close the cycle. Yeah, and some of you all, you already had the opportunity to travel, but you wanted to hold on to something stable. Some of you guys, there's a need to take a leap of faith with this damn Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's trying to make this offer, okay? And others of you... Others of you who are going through, some of y'all are ending cycles with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Hmm. And I feel like for some of y'all, you got a Taurus that's stalking you, okay? Some of y'all are cutting off a Taurus because they're attached to someone else and you just refuse to be a third party. You know your worth. Matters not what's been invested. Some of y'all have a Sagittarius person that wants to come. Be, be careful with reconciling with a Sagittarius Aries during this time. Your ass might get pregnant, okay? Some of you guys have invested or have someone that you could have been away from for about seven to nine years, I'm seeing here. Now this person is wanting to, this person could be watching you to see if you are in a commitment. They're trying to see, get, get clarity on how to come in and how to move, how to communicate with the Aries because they see that you are worth investing in. They want something stable with you intuitively. Some of y'all dream space have already been revealing this. But this person is making a decision on if they're going to choose you and possibly an earth sign or a water sign, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like both you and another person can have a have a family with this person. But someone's definitely going to be coming to see you, Aries, within the next six days. I'm hearing a knock on the door. Somebody, so, okay, so if that was any type of third party energy, Aries, that you could have walked away from if you are in some type of commitment, some of y'all could actually be calling off or there's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that be, they could be calling off. A connection due to them finding out about a third party. Some of y'all, your side piece is going to snitch on you during this time. And it's going to force you to make that decision to choose the self in a situation where you're not 100% fulfilled, okay? Which is going to assist you in walking away and reconnecting, possibly with the Gemini, possibly with the fire sign, okay? Some of you guys are needing to walk away from someone. Some of y'all have to walk away from a fire sign. Because they went to go reconcile with someone who they have a, ch a child with or someone who they have children with. Some of y'all, they went to go reconcile with this person. Now, this person is walking away to go find a love of their damn life. And this person is making a, making a decision or not, Aries. Because I feel like whoever this is that I'm picking up on, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's been extremely codependent on you. They've been codependent on the, comfort the comfortableness of being able to walk in and out your life. And you just not with the shit, Aries. You're moving on. You're moving on. Some of you guys are moving. Some of y'all are actually taking a leap of faith and moving with someone to reconcile uh, from your past, like out of state, because some of you guys are not sure of how your family's going to take this, or how outside is it going to take it. Some of you guys are really indecisive on if you want to reconcile with someone because it's going to cause you to end the current situation, but I definitely see new love. Some of you guys are definitely moving towards the love of your life. Divine love, divine partnership. Some of y'all is with a Leo. Others of you is starting new after laying a situation, a forgiveness situation, possibly with the Pisces. Okay? There's definitely some of y'all, there is a Pisces or a Leo that wants to come in and heal a situation and start new. But there is, some of y'all can't get over what was what, what, what's, what once was in the past and what this person did. There's a need for you all to go back and reflect, reflect, acknowledge, accept. Then make a decision to fuck with it or not. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys in love for the uh, end of July. Um, You guys comment. Let me know if this resonates. I love you all. I send you all peace, prosperity, 
great wishes okay well wishes as well as healing y'all because these lunar eclipses have been really thick i hope y'all did y'all money rituals up under the lunar eclipse because i sure did mine and also if y'all haven't because I, I i forgot to announce it on the other videos if y'all haven't followed me on ig y'all go follow me so i'll be um inspired to, to drop weekly videos i'm trying to get better because i suck at social media <laughs> but my name is mocha underscore love i think underscore tarot but uh, mocha underscore love tarot y'all find my ass okay Follow me, and I'll add you and follow you back. I love you all, and until August, peace, love, and high grease. Namaste. Bye, y'all.